Hello everybody, for this week's video I really wanted to sit down with my mum and film some kind of challenge video but then I found out that she's working an evening shift and she was unable to be here. So I got this idea from Connor Franta, a YouTuber I have been watching for years, um, also the author of one of my favourite books called A Work in Progress and what I did earlier today was, let me find my phone, my phone's in my pocket. I text my mum, hey mum, if you could ask me any five questions, what would they be? No my mum, I knew this was going to really confuse it and I was kind of expecting her to call me back and ask if I was alright, but no, she did text me five questions and they are very, very typical mum questions. So if you want to play along, open up a notepad on your phone or on your laptop and write down five very, very typical mum questions, the universal topics that every mother has to know about their son. Okay, number one, how are you feeling? Right now, I don't know if you guys can notice this, but my cheeks are just incredibly red, so the answer is I'm really hot at the moment. Also, just while I'm at it, my bags underneath my eyes are crazy. I told you that they were very mum questions. I gave the chance to ask me anything at all and just how I'm feeling. So the answer is hot and tired, and other than that, I'm completely fine. But thank you for a very lovely first question. Are you happy? Now, I think this is something that every parent wants for their son or daughter, is just for them to be happy with what they're doing. I'd say at the moment, Yes, I feel very rich with happiness. I'm doing work that I love doing. I'm spending time with people that I care about. I'm making time for side projects that actually add to my happiness, like with filming YouTube videos, with watching videos, with taking photos, uh, taking me time as well. I do try to unwind as much as I can and just completely disconnect. This is a really tricky topic to try and elaborate on, but I'm really trying my best here. Yes, I do feel happy at the moment because I feel like I'm putting time and energy into things that I know can make me happy only because in the past I've made mistakes in certain areas and decided to learn from them as opposed to deciding not to move forward so like with career and with hobbies and with social life. That was a really tricky question. What's your five year plan? Okay, this is actually the first question that I've made some notes for underneath the question because I thought if I don't create some kind of structure, this is going to be an unsolicited ramble. I talked about this in a video that I made about five or six months ago called Draw My Future and I think that was one of the topics, my five-year plan. So I'm trying to remember from that. I really like children and I really don't know why I wrote that one down first because there's other things that need to happen first. Married, maybe? I'll be 31 by then. No matter what, I'd still love to be filming videos because for me, in my mid-twenties, this was my first ever passion that I just really glued to, I felt comfortable with, and it was something that I kind of just, I fell in love with and it was there for me, just filming videos. Over the next five years, I would love to do a lot more traveling. I did finally go back to Canada this year after about 15 years to visit some friends and family, which just meant the world to me. I would really like to go to America now. We did literally step inside Detroit but only for about two hours so I got a taste of America but I would love to go and explore a lot of the different areas. I really don't know much about America. In my head I was gonna try explaining America then. Probably the most important thing and is the last thing that I wrote down is safe slash secure so just be doing things that I love with people that I love, be around inspiring people, just be continued to feel inspired. Kids, married. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? When I read that, I actually thought they were two different questions. They are kind of the same thing, aren't they? Where do I see myself in 10 years' time? Okay, I actually had to think about that one. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. I've picked three things that I just, I see them happening in 10 years. Only three, I'm not gonna talk about everything. And what I'd like you to do is, I would really love for you to pause this video and write down three things that you see happening in 10 years. Oh, uh, you can hold on to me for 10 years. Can you, re well, I've had a teddy bear since I was four and he's still out there. And when I'm done filming this, I'm gonna go and look for him because I think he's still there. So you can hold on to something for that long. Comment the three on this video because if YouTube is still around in 10 years time then all you'd have to do is type in the title of the video and then you can find the three that you said 10 years ago. So this video will still be here. Leave a comment below three things that you see happening in your life in the next 10 years and I'm also going to do the same. Final question, when are you going to take me to Casper's Desserts? Mum, today is Thursday the 20th of October 2016 and I say that for two reasons. One, because now you know when 10 years is up because it's Thursday the 20th of October 2026. And also to answer your question because I know you have the day off work next week, 
We will be going to Casper's Desserts on Tuesday, the 25th of October, 2016. Shout out to my mum, you're really quite the man. I love Little Mix. Thanks mum for those lovely questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I kind of want to play this game with my dad, but now he's expecting it, so I won't have that same unexpected honesty. But that's about it. Next month, I have an announcement on this channel. It'll be around about this time next month. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time, so I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited just talking about it, and I think it's something that you're going to like. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next Monday for another weekly vlog. Bye guys. Zeddy the teddy in the attic. Maybe. I haven't seen her a long time.